Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atla Pink. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about that Google partners with Coinbase to accept crypto payments for cloud service. I think this is a big thing because we do know how big Google is. Then we have America's oldest bank launches crypto services. And uh, another news from Google that actually you can now search ETH addresses on Google and find out uh, how much cryptocurrency is behind uh, uh, that address. So that's a very interesting new feature. Guys, all this in today's video. And if you would like to keep yourself up to date, very simple, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom, subscribe, bell button, all that's it you have to do. And then you're getting the daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news to keep yourself up to date. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content, what I'm providing you every single weekday. And check out the links under this video because there are many useful ones. Okay, let's have a look at the market where we can see that uh, Bitcoin is basically down half percent, uh, sorry, up half percent in the last 24 hours which makes it 19,180 US dollar Ethereum, about one and a half percent up, 1,301 US dollar. When we're looking at the top gainers, who will be talking up 23%, Terra 22, and we see Hedera uh, 9, Terra just uh, went down a little bit, okay? And when we're looking at the losers, we have Terra Classic USD down 9%. Yesterday, this was the leader, ApeCoin down about 8%. And which one is the next in the row? Maybe this one is uh, clay is down 3%. So not major moves. When we're looking at the candlestick chart of Bitcoin and here the daily, we can see that, yes, we are between this zone again, you know, uh, still here between uh, 20,500 and 18,500. The very important day, what we're watching right now, is uh, this uh, Thursday on the 13th of October? So basically uh, tomorrow, when uh, we're going to we're going to see the year-on-year -year CPI data coming out. They saying that the forecast is that what they waiting it's 8.1 percent. So it will be less than it was back in August because this would be the September data, which is released now in October. Because in August we had 8.3, but Depends what's going to happen. So it's going to be as low as uh, they uh, forecast it will be, or it will be higher, lower. Uh, will move the market uh, depend on the number. So we can have uh, witnessing a drop yesterday. Uh, sorry, <laughs> yesterday, tomorrow. Um, when 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 uh, you know something. Uh, worse than than uh, 8.1 uh, will uh, appear um so again an 8.3 or something like that or or when it's looking good then we can see uh rally i guess not major ones here because we are in a bad situation just like a short-term kind of things so we will see Okay, and now let's move on to the first topic. And the first topic is actually bullish. Bullish in long term, definitely. But now these news, actually good news, but not uh, that, that they would really move the market. So now we have here Google, which partners up with Coinbase. And they're going to work together because uh, Google is about to accept crypto payments for cloud services. <laughs> So we do know how big Google is and Google is making also moves towards Web3 and uh, crypto. And one very important step is right now when uh, uh, Google partners up with Coinbase with, uh, you know, one of the biggest uh, cryptocurrency uh, exchanges. And we do know that uh, Coinbase has now already a partnership with BlackRock. And uh, that's that's also major. But now uh, we can see that uh, Google is going to accept crypto payments for cloud services. And uh, this is going to be some, this service will be available early next year. And the crypto payment will be initially be rolled out to a handful uh, of customers involved in the Web3 industry. Google will also use Coinbase custody service, Coinbase Prime. 
And what they're saying, at least the CEO of Google Cloud, Thomas uh, Corrin, that we want to make building in Web3 faster and easier. And this partnership with Coinbase helps developers to get one step closer to that goal. And um, we do know that if really the Web3 is now the future, uh, Web3 doesn't exist uh, without blockchain technology. And uh, really, um, the the payment methods and, and everything will be in cryptocurrencies. So if you're looking at this from this angle, uh, it also shows uh, how big the potential, the future in crypto could be. And uh, now we have Google. They're saying that, okay, okay, let's pay uh, in, in crypto. And so many big companies now uh, going in this direction. So we do witnessing right now the bear market. The bear market in general, because we see it in um, the stock market, not just in crypto markets. So it's not about crypto, that it's something wrong with crypto at the moment. It's simply the economic situation in the whole world, this kind of recession feeling and all these kind of things. And then it's uh, very normal then all these kind of risky assets, stocks, uh, Bitcoin and all the others are down in this case. But... Um, all these news, what's coming out even during the bear market, these huge partnerships and everything show that actually it's nothing wrong uh, with crypto and, and things looking pretty bright actually in the future. It will depend a lot on the um, regulations which will come uh, out again in a couple of years time uh, around the world in different countries. But uh, it looks like that the the move, uh, the, the everybody is moving in this direction, and in that case, it's 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 just a matter of time when it's getting uh, bigger and bigger. Okay, that was the first topic I wanted to mention. The second topic is another bullish one because we have America's oldest bank with a huge history, and they also launch crypto uh, services. <laughs> America's oldest bank is uh, BNY Mellon, and uh, this is a 238-year-old bank and possesses over $43 trillion in assets and under custody or administration worldwide. And this bank uh, has decided to launch a digital custody platform to safeguard select uh, clients uh, Ether and Bitcoin holding on October 11th. And uh, this making America's oldest bank the first large bank in the country to offer the custody of digital assets and traditional investments on the same platform. So both, uh, it's, it's reachable. They having, you know, look at this, 43 trillion. That's, that's a lot of, lot of uh, money in assets. And guess what? If the oldest bank decides we're going in this direction, guess what? The new ones are also uh, going to probably uh, continue because uh, because this is this is actually uh, the way it's going to work. Um, you know, the recent survey from bank uh, revealed that 91% of institutional investors are interested in investing in tokenized product. 91% of the institutional from the institutional side. And 41 of them hold cryptocurrency in their portfolio already. So this is what uh, came out from the bank's uh, survey. Um, so guys, yes, uh, I, 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 you know, uh, don't want to say really anything because um, you do your own homework, you decide your own things. I don't want to put any uh, pressure on either side. Uh, the, but my personal opinion, and, and this is just my opinion, is that even now in the bear market, this crypto winter is just totally different from the previous one, what it was back in 2018, because that was all about that, uh, you know, ban crypto. Now it's all about a lot of, lot of things, how develop uh, it's going on in crypto, um, new partnerships, and we're still in the bear market. So yes, the prices of cryptos are down, but a lot of things it's it's happening here, and uh, the major majority is here here for crypto, not really against it. Um, so 
yeah, interesting times, interesting times. I'm really, really curious how we're going to look in five, 10 years time because um, it's very, very difficult to estimate from now what it will be then because it's, it's actually impossible to, to, to measure this kind of uh, movement, this, 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 this growing because uh, year to year it's changing just that much. Uh, but I'm excited, definitely. Okay, and now the third news, we go back a little bit to Google because now you can search ETH addresses on uh, Google as a new feature. And we can see that how uh, important is, uh, you know, uh, crypto for the internet. When Google uh, introduced a new feature, and this is now you can search ETH addresses on Google. And uh, so Google's latest crypto feature enables some Ether Ethereum wallet addresses to have their ETH balance tracked straight off the Google search engine, saving the need to make a trip to Etherscan. But, you know, Cointelegraph's uh, attempt to search for a Bitcoin address uh, revealed no shown on Google, so it's not working. And Cointelegraph also tried several different Ethereum addresses, most of which, which didn't work. So the functionality is very limited at the present and may improve over time. But bottom line is that uh, this is the future. Look, here's an example that simply you uh, can search and... Uh, Ethereum address and future probably all crypto addresses and it's going to appear uh, here in, in Google search and you do not have to really worry about that. Okay, let's move on to the uh, Etherscan because, you know, through this kind of feature, uh, it can make it available. So again, uh, another thing how uh, crypto is getting into, into into Google and how Google getting into crypto and how the whole thing is developing and uh, yeah I think I think over time these kind of developments will be massive and spread all around the world uh, because of the internet. Okay, that's it for today. Don't forget every single weekday I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. So stay with me. I'm back tomorrow with the freshest. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye bye.